Thank you everyone for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie if you're new here. Every Friday I usually do air fryer videos and the more and more I look into recipes or things that I want to cook in my air fryer, I keep noticing that there is there was a grill. So I wanted to purchase one because I wanted to put more videos out for you guys, something a little different. And with uh, spring and summer coming up, hopefully shortly, um, this is, would be a good way of tying in some of your meals that you can do maybe in the house. I know some people maybe aren't able to get outside and use a normal grill. With this grill, you will be able to grill on it and then also use it as a griddle. Um, there's two different attachments on here. And I showed you in the beginning of the video that how I unbox everything, how I put everything together and right now I just want to kind of talk to you about all the things that it does so I'm just gonna go over that with you and then at the end of the uh, video I did do one of the recipes that comes in the book so stay tuned and keep watching for that because you'll see what I made at the end of the video um, but for right now I just want to talk to you about the grill and the some of the things about it how to get started and some of the things that you need to do when you take it out of the box just to get started and stuff with it. So I'm gonna start out with the first thing. When I got mine, when I pulled it out of the box, you saw that I had to, you know, take all the packaging off. There wasn't anything like taped down or anything crazy. It was pretty easy to unbox. The only assembly that you needed to do was put the handle on. Everything else is really easy. Um, the placement of, of everything is really easy to put together. There is no like complicated um, pieces that is required to put together. So that was pretty much it was just the handle. Um, and then what it suggests is, so it gives you kind of like a guide to put the handle together. Um, and then it just shows you like where everything is placed to, Put the handle on so you'll get that and this will be attached to your handle so that'll be in there and then you also will get a quick start and then an assembly so like i said it's not hard to put together it's just where the placement lines up so you'll be able to uh follow that really easy and i kind of showed you before all the ways that i kept putting things um into the base of this so not complicated at all so one of the things that says step one is to pull everything out and then step two is to ensure that the water tray is in place fill it with two cups water and then it says reassemble the parts in the same order they were packaged see reverse side for detail instructions so that's what i was telling you about and then it says attach the cord to the base unit and plug the power cord into the unit so it's a detachable cord and just like a regular cord you are going to press the power button then fan button set the temperature to medium heat for 46 minutes to preheat the grill then set the desired cooking temperature and add your food one of the things that i've noticed in the recipe book was to keep it at max uh temp and then turn it down according to how, you know, like if you need it hotter or cooler. Um, at the end of the video, you'll see what I made. I did have to kind of, just kind of tweak it a little bit to see if anything needed to be changed. And I actually found that I lowered it a little bit and I actually needed to just keep it where it was and then just watch it a little closer. So you might at first think like the temperature is really high um, and you think you're gonna maybe burn burn what you're cooking, it actually was okay as long as you're sitting there watching it. Another suggestion that we found, we did end up making bacon, eggs, fried eggs, and stuff with this. Um, we found that when I was cooking the bacon, I didn't put the cover on. And even though it says to press the fan button, we had that running. It did have a little bit of smoke with it, but you know, we had so much bacon with our size, you know, we kept putting bacon on it. It was kind of overflowing into the pan and 
um, my son was like, mom, put the cover on. So we put the cover on it and that helped a lot. So you're going to be using the cover um, for like hamburgers and different things. And it does have a good seal around it. So all when you have the fan on, it's just going to kind of suck it up in there and you'll be fine. Um, it does come with two different cooking books. One is like hamburgers and different things in this one and then this is going to be your griddle and this one is pancakes eggs and stuff like that so um for the grilled part it just has like chicken fillet sandwiches uh let's see what else chipotle chicken bowl barbecued chicken so eventually i'll be cooking some of these in here with my videos now I didn't know yet if I'm gonna tie um, the grill videos on Friday with my air fryer instead of doing an air fryer one maybe I do a grill one and then an air fryer one I don't know what I'm gonna do yet but I know I'm gonna do more breakfast stuff and if you guys saw in my um, I got accessories for um, my air fryer and I was showing you in there also that I'm able to do more different ideas like cakes and muffins and like egg bites and what other things like bacon um hamburgers i mean i was still able to do some of that but now i can do like omelets and like quesadillas and stuff like that in there so i'll be doing more videos with the air fryer also but i did want to get this just because a lot of times um I wanted to use the grill outside and I wasn't able to or I had my son go out there and heat it up and then we would try to fry out there but this way this gives me a chance to be able to do things in the house and watch the kids while I'm in the home and do it that way so I'm excited to try hamburgers and stuff on here I did do a salmon video in my air fryer so I'm gonna see if I can make it on here if that's gonna cook differently but I'm just gonna play around with it and you know I'll kind of give you guys my opinion as I go with cooking but what I cooked today um, actually turned out great so I, I, I actually said that I really liked it because a lot of times in the frying pan I found that everything stuck and with this, it has the nonstick uh, griddle. And I did spray it down with cooking spray. It does say that you can do that. I know some, you know, pans say don't, um, but in here it did say that I could do that. So I did with what I made um, later on that you will see. So I'm gonna bring you guys closer. I did show you at the end of the video some of the settings, but I kind of want to show you up closely. When you are going to cook something you're going to be plugging in your cord over here so you'll plug it in and then you'll or you're going to attach the cord and then plug it into the outlet and one of the things you need to do when you plug it in this light is going to turn um red and then it's going to be flashing but as soon as you push the pro power button um it the light will stay on then and then you're gonna want to push the fan button and that just keeps the fans going and you don't have to worry about the extra um, steam and stuff from when you're cooking. Now what you're gonna wanna do is preheat your grill for 46 minutes, it said, I think four to six or 48, yeah, 46 minutes. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the plus button and it just kinda, it's like a dial and it's gonna go this way. And then you can minus it and it's gonna go this way. Um, it's really simple to follow. This is not a complicated uh, machine at all. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take off the cover. Here is the grill pan. So this just comes out. And then you have the griddle tray. And then, Oops. And then underneath you have the cooking element. Um, and this comes out really, really easy. It's not um, one that you have to like play around with and try to attach it a certain way. It just comes out like this and then goes back in. So I'm gonna take this out right away. Another thing is, is it shows arrows on the way that they want you to put your tray in here. 
And then up closely, it'll also, also show you an arrow right there so you know that you're putting it in the right way. And this comes out really easy also. And then underneath here is your water tray. So that's the water tray that I was saying to you earlier that you need to fill with two cups. And then off to the side, these areas right here is where the fan will be. So you'll see right now, like I can just do this oops, without so loud though. And that's just how it snaps together if you're gonna use the griddle. So all you're gonna wanna do is preheat it, spray it down and then cook with it. You just have to play around with the temperature. Unless you're following, following along with a recipe, I'm sure in the recipe it'll state how hot you're supposed to set your grill. Um, I know a lot of times it's trial and, trial and error with um, some of the things that you're cooking, but otherwise that's, that's like pretty much it for that. Um, so I'm gonna turn you guys back around so I can talk to you about some of the like special features with it. So I'm gonna turn you guys around. For some of the features, it has, like I said before, a built-in fan. Um, it has a silicone lid that seals. So around your cover, it's all silicone uh, liner. And then it heats up quickly. So you just, like I said, heat it up, um, preheat it. And after I preheated it, and then I put the stuff down, it instantly started cooking. So that was really quick. Um, maintains its temperature. The only thing that I saw that, what I was saying before is if you lower the temperature, it kind of seemed like there was a, I, like a bigger change to the temperature. So that's why I said I raised it back up and then I was able to, um, just kind of cook it faster, but then I was able to just sit there and then watch it cook. Don't walk away from your grill because you probably will end up burning it, so just stay near it. Um, it's dishwasher safe, so I washed it by hand just because I didn't want to take the chance of the finish coming off. Um, and I usually do that with my air fryer. I know I said that I wanted to do like a cleaning video on it, but I mainly just wash it down with a washcloth and soap and then dry it off. That's usually how I clean it. Um, heats up to 450 degrees. So it starts out at 200 and then goes all the way up to 450. And then I, like I said, it is a nonstick coating. So it does say that I can use spray, like I said, and I didn't have any like spray buildup or anything with it. Even when I was cooking it, it didn't seem like anything got sticky or um, overcoated with the spray that I was using. So that worked out really, really well. Um, I did like how I cooked and you know, we made eggs, we, we made scrambled eggs, we made fried eggs, we made bacon. The only thing that we noticed with the bacon is for us, we cook so much that there was so much grease on it and we couldn't dump it in between to cook another batch. We ended up doing it anyways and I did have a lot of overflow in the um, silver tray, but it was fine. I think if you're just gonna cook, you know, like half a package and it's just for you and maybe your husband or wife or, you know, just wanna make a couple pieces, I think it'll be totally fine. And then what you want to do when you're done cooking is turn the power button off, turn the fan off, and then um, unplug your unit from the outlet and then you can unplug the cord if you would like. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully that was informative for you guys. If you guys have any more questions or you wanna see more recipes, um, I'd be more than happy to do that for you guys on a Friday. I think I'm still gonna keep up with the Friday schedule with air fryer grill. Maybe I'll do a couple grill ones, a couple air fryer ones. It all depends on how I feel that week on what I wanna cook for the family. Um, but other than that, hopefully that was uh, easy for you guys to understand. Um, one of the things I just want to say, when you are use, or with these um, cooking books, I like how they did it separately because um, 
on some of the other ones, it kind of just gives you a variety. And this way you're able to pick. So if you just want breakfast or you just want to make a meal, it kind of gives you two different choices. So I really like that and I'm excited to try that. And I did say that the recipe that you guys will see next is in this book.